<laughs> What's going on my Nabooers? This is a real quick video because it's gorgeous outside and I need to get outside and get some fresh air. So I made a few changes to Cloud CPM. I want to show you that because using the virtual scrolling 80 columns, look at that. We got a nice smooth scroll now. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. The A drive, user area zero. There's a ton of new utilities in here. Um, things like SuperSub, which is uh, a submit program, but it's called SuperSub, which has a little, quite a few more features. So with SuperSub, you can add all of your files on a single command line that you want to run, or you can just do a slash and list them. It's, it's a great utility. You're going to like it. Another program we have here is called Survey, which is pretty nice. It just shows you what the memory survey is of everything. So we can take a look here. So it shows you what our, where our TPA is, um, what active ports we have running, what our, where our ROM is, boom, boom, boom. It's all good, everything up the BIOS. And then there's also a few other things in here too, like, uh, let's see here, what have I added? Oh, XC, XCCP is another command shell replacement. Uh, there's XDR, there's also DRIX, um, bunch of stuff. And then in user area number one, this is where I keep all my retronet stuff minus the help and summary and things. But there's a few new things in here you might be able to find as well. So maybe scroll through here and see what you see what you come across. But the other thing I wanted to mention too about performance, huge improvement, significant improvement in, in the, the, uh, the drive. And that is because I was being silly. There is a BIOS function called um, select. There we go, drive select. And drive select is when BDOS, when a TPA talks to BDOS, and then BDOS says, I need a drive. And it will actually mount a drive, which is in the CPM terms is called login. You have a memory between FFF and here down here is zero. And then this get this little tiny space right here. Don't worry about this. This is, is zero X. FF. This is your. This is a page one of uh, of CPM. This is where CPM stores it, like the FCB file record, a bunch of other things. So don't worry about that. So essentially, um, way up here, you have your BIOS. So it's right on the very top, right? This is BIOS, and beneath that you have. Um, well, I should choose a better color, something you can actually see. There we go. This is your BDOS. And this is part of CPM. You can see all this inside of, uh, inside of the tutorial that I made too, that's inside of CPM. And beneath BDOS, you have a CCP. This is your command shell. This is the thing you talk to. This is where you type in DIR and get your files and all that kind of stuff, okay? And then everything beneath the CCP This is all TPA. This is where your program has access to run. Now, this is, you'll see this diagram drawn a lot like this. However, realistically, um, the TPA can actually overwrite the CCP. This happens all the time if you have a big program. Um, so the CCP just gets reloaded every time you're, you exit a program. Here, I'll just type in IRC. Okay, nickname. I don't know if you noticed that, but right in the very top it flashed, it said CPM. Well, that is when the CCP is getting reloaded. Okay, so what, uh, what happens is, is that a program needs to access a drive. So off your BIOS, you have floppy drives, you have a monitor, this is your, this is your, this is your little monitor I'm going to draw for you here. All right, your display. You also have a keyboard. So remember, this, the CPM has no idea about hardware. It doesn't know. It talks to um, the BDOS, and the BDOS talks to the BIOS, and the BIOS does the hardware communication. So this is actually a floppy. We'll put a little floppy. There we go. Okay, so what, what, what I was doing is every single time the, the TPA program 
or CCP, whatever, needed to talk to BDOS um, about a floppy activity, what would happen is it would, uh, it would say, hey, I need to select a disk. And then the BDOS or BIOS would get that disk ready and it would load it up and start giving information in. While I was reading the manual for developing um, BIOS the other day, I was just diving into it a little deeper than I normally do, and I read a part that says, you most, most um, BIOSes, it's recommended to not select the disk <laughs> when select occurs. And that's because they say select occurs way too often. And I did notice that because when I was copying files using RNCMD, which is the new command for copying files between the NABU and your internet adapter, I noticed in the, in the internet adapter log, it was constantly remounting the same file. I thought to myself, that's, that's too much. What's going on? Well, I don't need to remount, remap it um, every single time or log in as it's called every time. So what I did instead is I cache the, the, that, it's, that it's logged in. And what I'm doing that with, very simply, is just a, let's see here, where are we? Right here, an array of file IDs. So when the BIOS mounts a drive, it mounts it to the array index and stores the file ID that the remote IA gives it, and therefore it holds on to that for the entire life of the uh, of the cloud CPM session. So, for example, if we take a look in here, you'll see that I have um, hand, disk A is with handle zero. Now, I'm going to switch over to disk B here, and you're going to see disk B is getting handle one because it already has a handle zero for A. Right? So now when I switch back to drive A, look how quick it is. It doesn't have to remap, even I could just type in a DIR on drive A, and we're going to notice that there's no re-signing uh, in or re-logging in or reselecting of a drive. So by caching the file IDs of um, the actual drives between the internet adapter and the BIOS, I'm saving a ton of performance, or gaining, I guess you could say, a ton of performance with the disk select. So that is huge. So you're gonna find that all the commands, everything's gonna run so much faster and it's gonna be a much better experience running uh, Cloud CPM now. Well, there's probably a few other things that I could be saying that I've done in the last couple days because it's been a bit since I made a video, but this is good enough. Like I said, I gotta get outside. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See you later, bye-bye.